Red Raider Nation, welcome to episode three of Street Dogs, a series this summer where we're connecting former Red Raiders with our newcomers this year. I'm Thomas Bransma, pumped for our two guests that we have today. Uh, former Red Raider, Mr. Brandon Francis, welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's good to see you again, man. And our, newcomer, and our newcomer today is Mr. Matt McClung. It's nice to meet you, Matt. Yes, sir. Appreciate you having me. How y'all doing? Y'all hanging in there? Yes, man. Doing well. Um, I'm very excited about this episode, man. I watched the last one and uh, looking forward to have a lot of fun. I just want you to run the show and let's 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 make fun of beer a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm glad we paired, I'm glad we paired y'all together, man. I think there's a lot of simula- uh, similarities with y'all's story and and you know y'all's journey. So, Brandon, start us off, man. Uh, let Mac know what years you played at Tech and uh, just a quick. Uh, you know, you're on your journey on how you made it to Tech. Right. Just like Mag, I transferred. Uh, I went to the University of Florida uh, for two years. Then I head to Lubbock. And it was like everybody, every, every, everyone know my story, um, especially Bransma. He used to pick me up six in the morning every day to take me to workouts <laughs> when I really didn't want to go at that time. And uh, it was, you know, when I first got to Lubbock, it was, it was pretty hard. Really wanted to get out of there, and now that place became like my second home. Um, you know, Coach Beard and Ogden, you know, gave me the opportunity to be in Lubbock. So, uh, you know, the rest is history, man. I, if I can do it all over again, I definitely would do it. I played at Tech uh, for two years. I, I was there for three years, though. My, my, I sat out, and I played my junior year and my senior year. Junior year, we went to the Elite Eight. And in my senior year, we had the the opportunity to make it to the Final Four. So it, it was definitely in the story that I'm going to tell my kids one day. Yeah, I think it's a great great part of your story, Brandon, is, is I remember that, you know, your, your redshirt year, we're battling that year. You weren't able to play. And then your last game as a Red Raider, you're in the national championship. So, um, I mean, I think it's – I think what you did there, I, I know you'll never forget it. And I know Lubbock won't either. Um, Mac, uh, quick introduction. Introduce yourself to – to Red Raider Nation, man, just uh, where you're from, um, how basketball's, what your journey's been, and, and how you're, how you made it to Texas Tech. Yeah, for sure. Um, like you said, I'm Mac. Um, I'm from Gate City, Virginia, and uh, I went to Georgetown University for two years, and then I decided to transfer. And uh, this year, I decided to come to Lubbock and 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 join Texas Tech. And I'm grateful to be here. Everybody's kind of welcomed me with open arms, so I'm I'm excited for sure. Oh, we're pumped, man. I. I I, I, I'm actually off Twitter right now, and when you committed to Texas Tech, I had people sending me screenshots of tweets that uh, that you were coming. <laughs> so if that shows how how pumped uh, how pumped the fans are, is, is I'm not even on Twitter, and I was seeing I was getting your tweets, man. So, um, awesome. Brandon, keep up with you on Facebook though. I am, I am still on that. I uh, saw so you got some uh, you got some new ink. Um, I I got a little something, man. Mac Mac probably saw it. I went out there <laughs> to the gym. To work out, but yeah, I, I you got, got you got a new you got a new favorite or uh, or something new. To uh, you know, the funny thing, and I I came to Lubbock without without tattoos. And two years later, I mean, <laughs> all I need is the a little bit of in my open arm and my other leg to be just like fully ink. So I don't know, Mac. You're probably gonna get covered too. <laughs> Mac, any, no, any, any any tattoos or any stories that that we need to know about? <laughs> no, I have uh, I have I have a couple tattoos. I try to keep them under the jersey. Um, but yeah, I would say my favorite, I have my hometown gate city on my back. So that's definitely means the most to me. And, um, that's my favorite tattoo by far. Sounds like, sounds like when you get to love it, Brandon, uh, he caught the bug. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to watch you over the years and see if, uh, <laughs> if it spreads. Oh, he's going to get more. I'll try I to stay away from Brandon. That. Brandon, you talked about how you transferred from Florida. I mean, any, any advice for Mac, you know, some, like we said, similar stories, you know, you come in that year and you're, you're a new coach, new players, new culture, new locker room. I've been there. I, uh, I, you know, transferred about 12 times with Beard. So I know how it, how it is to, to make that move. And I know the best feeling ever is when you get there and you just start practicing and, right. and it's calm, but I know the nerves before that, um, you know, any advice for, for Mac or, or stuff you learned? From your experience, I mean Mac, uh, Mac and my situation are different uh, as far as like being emotionally connected. I don't know how emotionally connected you was to Georgetown, though, Mac. 
But uh, I came to Lubbock a little bit wounded, and I didn't really let Coach Beer into my space. Like, I was like, you know, my last coach lied to me. He left, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I came in with the wrong mindset. I don't think Mac going to have that problem here. Uh, Mac, you know, he's he had uh, a lot of attention since high school. So I think he's he's really grounded. And But my advice to you is that um, – Enjoyed every moment, man. Like, I remember my first day in Lubbock. It, it seemed like it was yesterday when I had Branson picking me up, listening to some country music. I was like, what, what, what are we listening to, bro? 5.40 uh, in the morning. That, that's I ended exactly. up, second week of workouts. It, it's no music in the car. I'm like, yo, play that country song that you always play. Like, now you got me used to it, so you better keep playing that. And, <laughs> I mean, I got used to it, and like I say, the best shows I ever made, you know, but enjoy it, man. Every every game, every moment, every road trip, every dinner, because, like, I miss it. I don't know about you, Brasma, but I think beer is an special dude, and if you're focusing on winning and doing what you need to do, which I know you will, uh, you'll be fine, man. I'm very pumped to see you wear that Texas Tech jersey across his chest. Yeah, I know. I mean, make Good point, Brandon. I mean, the 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 program, and and like you said, you, you know, you keep you keep mentioning how at first it it was a culture shock, and then you embraced culture it. culture shock, and then and then you just flourished in it. Um, you know, that's that's my advice to everyone uh, who's gonna come play for Beard and in this program is to embrace it, and uh, you know, accept it and accept that he's gonna push you every day, um, and, and because he wants the best out of you, he truly cares about his players, and that goes for the whole staff. So. You know, if you come in and just like we know you will, embrace it and 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 uh, buy into the culture, then I mean the rest will be history. Yeah, he'd be fine for sure. Brandon, Six Market Boulevard, by the way, that was the uh, oh, that was the country band. That's that what I need right there, man. I don't <laughs> so, even remember, bro. I was always I was always the guy that would try to play country music in the locker room, and I'd get vetoed pretty quick. Mac, you get the Lubbock, you get your first chance at the Ox. What are uh, what are we hearing? So actually, I did. I, we were working out, and I sneaked on the aux yesterday, and I threw on a uh, little Morgan Wallen, more than my hometown. And, there you uh, go. Tyler looked at me real funny, but uh, Avery hey, Avery Benson was he was loving it. So you know, I got mi mixed reviews on it. Oh man, Are you yeah, and, and that's 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 someone you can lean on something? too, hey. Max. Someone you can lean on is Avery Benson. By the looks of his hair, he's been in the program for like nine years. But I mean, that's someone that uh. You know, as someone I would hang close by. I know he's he's uh he's been there for a year. Oh, years man, now. I know. I really know what kind of girlfriend Mac is going to have now. He already told on, me what, what, on, what music he listens to. <laughs> I already know. I already know, man. Oh, man. Boy, Mac, so, so vi viral <laughs> sensation in high school with your dunks, man. Uh, I can't relate. Uh, I was more of a <laughs> – <laughs> wasn't really able to do that. <laughs> but – uh, any, anything, uh, anything we can expect at Midnight Madness? Working on a, you've been working anything in the off season? Yeah, I need to come up with some new dunks for sure. It's it's hard because you know I I was working so hard on high school, but um, no, I'm gonna try to pull out some new things and and hopefully um, you know uh, we get to get this to happen and you know I'm, I'm sure the fans will come out, so I'm excited for it for sure. Oh, yeah, man, I know, I know everyone's big time. everyone's pumped. That's big uh, time, Brandon. Though. Uh, bat, what you've been doing as far as basketball since since we've last seen you in a Red Raiders jersey? So after the Red Raiders, uh, my last Red Raider appearance, I went back home to wait on my visa so I can come back to the States. My visa was up after college. Um, I played back home for a little bit. It was amazing. Uh, we made it to the finals. We lost in game seven. Then I came to the States, Iowa, played for the Iowa Wolves affiliated the, the, the G League team for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think I proved to myself that I could play at that level. And uh, now, you know, with the COVID, COVID shut the league down. And I try to be in Lubbock and, you know, um, work out, be around the guys and whatnot. But, I mean, the, the, the world is shut down. You know, it's, it's pretty hard. I got some offers overseas, kind of waiting what's the best thing for me. I'm not in a rush. And uh, my head overseas, and then you know, continue my career over there. Yeah, how did uh, how did playing overseas compare to playing in college? As far as uh, the game itself, it was, it was good because 
in one year, I played in college, I played overseas, then I played in the G League. Mm -hmm. So all in one year. So I, I had to, I, I, I got the taste of three different leagues, th three different kind of styles of, of, of game played. And it was cool. It's physical. Overseas is very physical. Not as much defense, <laughs> but because, I mean, it's three seconds in the pain. So I, I think it's, it's easier to get to the basket. Uh, that's the, the biggest uh, point that I kind of feel like see while I was in the court. Yeah, as, as far as where you're trying to trying to go next, are you, I mean, is, is there a specific location you'd like to go play? I got offers from Spain, France, Brazil right now. Um, so Spain is looking good. I know you're going to come down there and visit me maybe during three beers. So I, <laughs> I, I, I might consider that for you. But me. either Spain or Brazil, Argentina, France, I don't know. We see what's the best one. I, I want to play for a good organization that I can win a championship with one yeah, absolutely. You have any interest in uh, getting into coaching when uh, it's all said and done? Yeah, man. You know, somebody's recruiting me down there in Lubbock. I'm not going to say oh. any names. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, of I'm I'm not in college now, so everything is allowed. But, uh, of course, definitely. I'll be back in Lubbock uh, when, when the time is right. Yeah. But Mac, as far as uh, we, were, we were talking about a little before we started rolling, uh, Lubbock, uh, I know it's, it's probably different from where you've been. How, how are you liking Lubbock so far, and what have you uh, – you know, what, what have you taken away from Texas so far? Um, so uh, I drove down here and I am, um, I'm from a small town myself, but you know, you would go 200, 300 miles and there'd be like a little small town. It looked like there was like 45 people and then there'd be nothing for another 200, 300 miles. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like I've never seen nothing like this, but no, nah, man, it's, it's great. Lubbock itself is, is, is dope. Everyone's super nice and, and friendly. So man, this has been, this has been great. Yeah, no, it, it's a, it's a great place. Uh, when I finished playing, I actually stayed and worked in Lubbock um, for another for another two years. So um, it's 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 always uh, always always a place that I love to go and can't wait to visit again. Um, as far as our team this year, Mac, you've been around for a, a couple weeks now. You know, what are some uh, what are your takeaways from from the team and uh, you know your expectations for this year? Yeah, I mean, I think that. Um... First getting here, I realized, you know, everyone's focus is, is really different. You know what I mean? Everybody has, I mean, everybody has the same focus. Everyone is, is very locked in and, and nobody really has an ego about themselves. So that's, that's one thing you got to give Coach Beard and, and setting the tone with the culture. So, man, I really think the sky's the limit. I mean, we want it all. We want the national championship and, and I don't think we should um, want anything less. Yeah, that's, that's a huge thing. I know Brandon can back me up on that. It's, it's something we believe in, something that uh, Coach Beard believes in and, and the cult and the, the program is, you know, you, you leave the ego at the door. Um, Getting chills, man. You know, everyone comes you together. Gotta stop that, talking you know. like that. <laughs> I know it's bringing me back, man. I miss it. I'm, oh, I'm jealous of Mac. My head so get... is like my head is like like this, like <laughs> vibrating. Like I'm, man, I'm jealous, I, man. I, I, I can't I wait to see you again. play, Mac. I know you're gonna love it, man. I want you to. I know you got it hard in the passion, man. I know that the fans gonna back you up, and um, you know, three years ago. Ransma came back me up on this. It was like we didn't have that many people at the games, and I mean they always they always like show love and support. But like when they the group of guys that we had came in with like we put our hearts in the court, man. And to see that arena sold out uh, these days is like take advantage of that, man. I, I can't wait to see you guys play this this year, and uh, just like I said earlier, enjoyed every moment, man. I wish I could suit up and play with you. <laughs> for sure, threes. we do too. We want that too, for sure. Yeah, man. No, I agree. Mac, uh, I've been telling the the guests on the the past few shows that former players, it's a big part in the program. Um, you know, this won't be the last time you hear from us. We'll be popping in practice. We try to make a few home games. Um, it's it's truly a family, and uh, you know, we'll 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 be uh we'll we'll be rooting for you. And, and if you ever have any questions or Definitely. need anything from us, we're always here for you. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. We got. I got yeah. time for one more question, and I'll leave it with Brandon. Brandon to end us. Um, Brandon, your best, your best coach beard story from your three years playing for him. The, the thing is that I got so many. I mean, we we're gonna be here for like 10, 15 minutes. You know, we, we got, pick a um, pick, pick a pick a good one. <laughs> oh my goodness! I let you. I, I I let you pick yours, and then I'm gonna think of one. Cause I got too many, man. I got a lot. I got a lot. Of them. <laughs> You go um, ahead. I follow you. I got too many to count, but uh, shoot! In one of our uh, one of our first schools we were at, I can't remember which school it was, but 
we lost a tough game on the road and the hotel was actually that we were staying at was actually, you know, a minute away from the gym. And, you know, we, we lose a tough one and we get back and we're going to watch some film um, after the loss to, you know, to go over it right away. And we realized that coach beard didn't get on the bus. All right. So we're, we're, we're in the, we're in the hotel lobby and we're going to watch film and beard walks in. And I was like, I, was like, I didn't even notice they didn't get on the bus. And, I, you know, it's, it's, re- it's funny, but it, it really shows how invested Coach Beard is and how much he cares um, about the program. But he actually walked home because he just had to, like, collect his thoughts and he had to, you know, had to, had to breathe a little bit. So he walks in, double doors of the hotel open, and he just goes right into film, right? Didn't address that he didn't get on the bus, didn't talk that he walked home. It was just, like, it was just straight business. But, you know, I always found, always found that one funny. But it's really a compliment, um, and it just – You'll see that uh, when you get when you get there, and things start rolling, is that uh, the hardest working person there is Coach Beard and the staff. Um, so, uh, but with that, Coach man, we'll, we'll we'll wrap it up, fellas. I appreciate y'all joining Coach us, Beard, buddy. Mac, we're looking forward to it. Brandon, it's good to see you again. You need it you know, next brother. time you're in Lubbock, so we can go catch see a game. See you soon, man. Now, now that we're not in college, we can drink beer and whatnot. Bro. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking care, about. I don't man. care about what beer is saying anymore. I do what I want, beer. You heard this. Watch this, yeah. beer. Hey, uh, Mac. <laughs> have fun, man. Enjoy it. it. Enjoy the process, bro. I Red Raider Nation. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, tuning in to episode three of Street Dogs. We'll see you soon. This season, Texas Tech is switching to all mobile ticketing. That's right. Season tickets, mini plans, and single game tickets for all Texas Tech football, men's basketball, women's basketball, and baseball events are now mobile. So what does this mean for you? Convenience. Because your tickets will be stored on your mobile device. You no longer need to worry about receiving or printing physical copies of your tickets. This new process eliminates the need to coordinate meeting times for ticket distribution by allowing you the flexibility of easily transferring your tickets from your mobile device to the personal device of friends or family. So arriving to the game at different times is no longer a problem. Eliminating the cost of printing physical tickets allows us to put more resources into enhancing both the student athlete and fan experience. Prior to arriving to the stadium on game day, be sure to check your Apple Passbook or Google Pay and confirm tickets have been added. On game days, all you'll need is your phone, your physical parking pass, and of course that Raider Power Spirit. If you have any questions, feel free to contact support in the Texas Tech Ticket Office at 806-742-TECH or visit texastech.com.